there's one thing that everyone, no matter what their status, what their position in life, and no matter who they are, what their defects are, whether they're retarded, whether they're a genius, everybody's faced with it. Decisions. Everybody has to make a decision. There are also people in life not only facing the general decisions, but there are what I like to call antagonists. That is those people who choose to because of their own inability to see beyond their own scope of what reality is, <laughs> they antagonize other people about what they're choosing that doesn't meld in with what their scope of reality tells them is real. <laughs> to be clear, I'm going to cut right to the chase. There are people in life, antagonists who believe in God. Okay. Unlike the people that are just plain decision makers. The differences between these two people are quite plain when you see it for what it is. First of all, the antagonist believes in God as a power of his or her own choice, their own decision to believe in God. There are those who make the decision to follow God out of their own weakness. They get to a point in their life where they can't deal with it anymore. They know they're taken down if they try to deal with it. They can feel the claws of the lion on their back. They're the weak. They're the sick. You can feel that lion ready to drag you to the ground. And you cry out. And the shepherd hears your voice. And the shepherd turns. And he sees the lion. And he comes to your rescue. What do I remember of my God or what I believe is just that. What an antagonist remembers of chooses to believe is what he's done with his life, all the work he's put into it, the salvation that he's reached, the promises that he's got, blah, 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 blah. I'm living a good life. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. What does a person who's been saved by the shepherd from being torn down, what does he boast about? His shepherd. That out of all that's going on with the whole fold in the great pasture, that when I was being attacked, that shepherd came and saved my butt. What am I going to talk about? What am I going to be barring about? See, the antagonists want to come in. They hear me talking. Who are you? What are you talking about? Look at your life. Oh my God. What are you talking about? You're sick. You're a freak. Obviously. There's no denial. That's why the lion was ready to take me down. So if I'm boasting or if I'm talking about my shepherd, because 
I was about to be consumed. If you want to call that ego, you go right ahead. But I can tell you, and I can assure you, I will never be playing the role of an antagonist. It's not my duty. At best, I just try to see where the shepherd wants us to go. And I try to the best of my abilities, and I fail miserably often, to follow. To me, that's all that can be expected. It's my hope. It's my faith. And most importantly, it's my life. You want to knock that? You want to tell me what I need to do? You want to tell me I'm not saved? You want to tell me that I need, you know, that I'm a, a freak? You know, he knew that. The lion's claws were in my back. I've got scars. He knew that. He chose to turn around, come out, and get me. He chose to. He made that decision, not me. There's nothing I did. There's no amount of work I put down into this. I didn't spend my life being a good person. If I was a good person, the lion wouldn't have its claws in my back. You're not food for the lion as a good person. You know, you're not in the darkness if you're a light. So, again, there are decisions to make, and then there are also antagonists. Everybody's got to face the decision, but you don't have to be an antagonist. It's your choice.